can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, maybe when Chris gets... And now, now, back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. That was so licit with... I always say Blowmaster, but fuck. So listen with Blow Me Away, along with Alice, sweet Alice, who was in last week on the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. I'm Bankman. And I'm Rena. Talking about the uh, the Blowmaster, I think that uh, they should actually come out and rename the song, or, or they should come up with another song called Blowmaster, because that is kind of a cool name for a song. It's kind of inappropriate. What do you think? What's what? Why? Why the Blowmaster? Because I have a dirty mind. Oh, okay. Well, just unless you think of a unless you think of a vacuum cleaner, that's hey, more of a suck master. More of a suck master. Which nickname would you rather? Which have Which would high make school? a great song name too. <laughs> if if given the choice, which would you rather have in high school? Neither. Oh come on! You have to pick one. That's candy a part of the master. Mo- that's that's just dumb. That's candy master. Uh-huh. <laughs> candy master. Oh, candy master. <laughs> I thought she said handy master. <laughs> no, you did not. You've just made that I up. I'm just for handy that, master. That's what I heard. You're such pervs. <laughs> and she I'm didn't want blow master. Didn't want suck master. <laughs> she suggested candy. Hand- candy. Oh, okay. candy. See, I heard handy master, which no, would be you- a great high school name. That would be. That would be, that would be great. <laughs> They'd make you really popular. Unless you were the English teacher. Except with the girls. Uh-huh. Uh, by the way, uh, I sent you guys all the link. Did you get to look at the ugly high school teacher sleeping with a thirteen-year-old? Did you get Did you uh, get that link? Have do, you Have you checked it out yet? Do you want me to be honest, or I, you want me to lie? Send that? No, go ahead and lie. I got. I oh yeah, okay, I saw good. it. Yeah, uh, right well, before I was taken off in my airplane, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, Jeff just sent me an email. Let me check it. I really think that we and nobody else is going to do it. We need to compile a study. That's uh-huh. right. We would study, right, of, of all these teachers sleeping with their students. Why? And then we will find out how much jail time <laughs> each and every teacher gets. And then we do that. We have a comparative analysis between the amount of jail time and how attractive that teacher is. Are you so saying what? the more attractive, the less jail time? Yes. That, yes. That, uh, let, uh, that's my hypothesis. That, that's that's, that's, that's right. what I'm looking to prove. So that, you're thinking we should go maybe every Tuesday at, at what, 1 p.m.? Book club. Go, yeah. go to a, every school in the Kansas City no. area, or we can just We're travel just the world. A study now you're being, of no, now you're no. Being we'll go to every school and we'll talk to every teacher and ask them, "Have they slept?" I'll tell you what, I don't know what you're doing <laughs> on Tuesdays, but if you want to do that, it'd be fantastic. He's already uh, busy going to schools. I already am. Yeah, but oh, I guess so I you're do saying you've already done it? No, 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 no. no. Then how no. are you going to compile no your comment. hypothesis? So, here's what I would do: I would simply find the lawsuits that have been filed. Well, you have fun with that. First, you do our there website. There should be an easy website. And then... I'll do the website. Do the website first. And then I will find out... No, the Big Dumb Fun yeah, Show website. Yeah, first do our website. And then you can go compile this hypothesis. This story hit close to home, though. It, uh, it was in was Missouri, it? Out, outside of like, uh, St. Louis, around about that side of the state, uh, which might as well not even be in Missouri, I, I think it as was far in, as you asked me. Wasn't it in Phelan, Missouri? <laughs> 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 no. I don't believe so. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, it was uh, it was a story. Uh, a uh, this was a, uh, a a woman slept with a thirteen year old boy. A woman, huh? A woman. So there's a couple things going on with this. First of all, if it's, if it's the woman happen? sleeping with the child or the, the guy, then it's more okay. Usually, it's more okay. And you're like, way to go. And you always have that guy that's like, man, where was this when I was in Wait high school, minute. man? I, I didn't read the story. I'm just gonna throw all that out there. Throw it out. Uh, where where does this type of stuff happen? They take them home. St. Louis. Or? No, I uh, know. This happened. Uh, I'll, I'll pull up but the article. But does it happen like in a classroom and a bathroom? Do they? Well, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's not is a teacher, a test. Is a teacher like I'm going to take you for ice cream? Wink, wink. I, I mean, no. I think the teacher builds up the student's trust first, mm-hmm. and then strikes like a cobra. Gives them some moral support and where then some immoral these, support. <laughs> where do people get these motives? I just I mean, don't understand. Like, you can't hook up with somebody at least closer to your own age or from another school. Can what? I? Can what I, I say something? What I think you guys are forgetting is that what if this is true love? Can oh gosh? Can I say something though? Uh, I was no. at, I was at Disneyland this weekend. Okay, and I like where these, this is headed. These little kids that are probably 12, 13, wear such short shorts that you can see their butt cheeks hanging out. And in my opinion... Who are these guys? No, these girls. Oh. These little girls. And in my opinion, I mean, a father figure or an adult that sees that, my like automatic reaction was, oh my gosh, aren't those shorts a little short? Hmm. I see her butt cheeks. Now, from a guy's point of view, it's like these little kids sometimes are 
not dress properly for men to think crazy thoughts. Mm-hmm. Does, I mean... Are you thinking that perhaps you were upset because they were competing with you for guys' attention? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. No, no. I'm just... What I'm saying is sometimes... I'm not blaming men, but I am blaming men to have those thoughts. But it doesn't help that when you're in Disneyland, like a 12-year-old, 13-year-old co- yeah. kid is wearing shorts that you can see their butt cheeks. Yeah, that say juicy. No, mine say pink. Well, I'm not saying you because you're not, not 12 a, or 13. I'm, I'm just saying 18. these kids are not appropriately dressed. That is exactly. so funny that you say that because and, and your, your whole argument is like the extreme anti-woman's argument, right? Because the, the men's argument is always like, yeah, but see, they're I, looking for it. They're dressed for it. You know, they I'm all not, want it. They're 13. I'm, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that it doesn't help that these teenagers are, I mean, I know this is a male dressed figure. Dressed pr- provocatively. I'm, it doesn't help that a 13-year-old kid, which the reason why I'm saying that, another reason is because when I went to my brother's like GPA attendance, blah, 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 he was getting a award. Mm-hmm. We were sitting there and... I was just amazed of how these 15-year-olds were dressed. I mean, like, I they wore these short shirts. This was an amor- award ceremony? Like an award ceremony, like, during the morning. And so they were, go- okay. they were going to school it afterwards. It wasn't a formal. It wasn't a formal. It wasn't formal, but the shorts. Like, I was just like, I see her butt cheek. Like, I was talking to Tyler. I, I thought like, you were talking about the shorts that your brother was wearing. No, no. I'm talking about these girls that just wear these really, like, seductive and short shorts. And even when I go try on shorts, I won't buy them because... I don't want my butt cheeks hanging out mm-hmm. and my crotch might hang out because they make them so short now. And then maybe so it's not what you want. No, but I'm saying what I'm, I'm, I'm not defending guys at the same time, but I'm giving them like a little bit of slack just because you if can't help but look, you you're can't, looking, you can't, it's you, not appropriate for you, you to look either. Exactly. It's not appropriate for me to look, but you you're can't a grown woman. What are you doing? Checking out these girls. You can't help it. Their butt <laughs> cheeks. Tell that to my out. wife. Yeah. Ross McGinnis wants to chime in on here, figure out what's going on. Was you heard about, was the girls. teacher married? I'm going to find that out. Because I will get all the l- facts. And a lot of these, you know how the teacher is married? Yes. I, I feel really sorry for the husband. Because if she leaves you for another woman or a guy with more money or something like that, or someone you, can, you can rationalize that around. She <laughs> leaves you for a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> guy probably, probably kid didn't have a job. <laughs> you know? That's yeah. weird. No, that's well, she got weird. a skateboard. That is odd. But he you does know really that, well in school. That's a good point. When I when I develop my study, that's going to have to be a variable that I, I include in the equation. Because it has to be Jeff, either single or married. You know, Jeff, definitely- you have to get the website done first. After and the then- website, I'm going to compile this. Because my, my theory is this person that happened in, in Missouri that slept with a 13-year-old, no, she's, 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 she's not the, the Deborah LaFave or whatever. Like, she's not she's not attractive. And so, one, the bragging rights for the kid has just got to go through the, ugh, through the floor. That's it's just a 13-year-old awful. kid. And, uh, and for her, she's I think they may give her the chair. She's that ugly. She's very ugly. Oh, that's mean.